Hey guys, has the current situation in Nigeria get worse? Bauchi Senator said. President Bola Metunubu does not understand the country. He said things are getting worse under his administration. He said President Bola Metunubu just want to become the president. He know nothing about Nigeria. You understand? He know nothing about the country. And that is why, you know, things are just like this. He just wants to answer president. And that's all. So, if that be the case, how would Nigerians survive this? How would Nigerians survive this? Because, as it is right now, there is fire on the mountain, whether you like it or not. If you like, support within an unknown, you understand? As far as you are living in Nigeria, rich or poor, all of us are here around. Yes, the situation in Nigeria is getting, you know, worse every day. Like, no solution at all. The worst part of it is that when you, anything you buy today, Am I even saying today, anything you buy this morning, go back in the afternoon, yeah? You can't buy it, uh, that particular price, you bought it in the morning. I don't know what is going on. The next day again, that thing has increased with, in fact, double. Three times. Even those people who are doing, uh, people who are doing uh, a business, they are not finding it difficult, uh, easy. You buy something of 2,000 Naira, you go sell for 2,200, for example, 2, 3, 2,200, thinking that you have made 200 or 300 Naira from that. My dear, you have not made any money. Because by the time you are going back to go and buy that particular place to replace, that particular thing to replace what you have bought, they will tell you 3,005, you see. With the gain you have made and your capital, you cannot get that one again. So you see, the, the situation is not palatable. They are telling Nigerians to be patient. I don't know whether when everybody don't 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 buy finish, then he then go do the need for. The other day, the 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 president's wife said the first subsidy removal is future benefits. So it's for our 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 next generation. They will be the ones to you know to enjoy it. Me, I'm not there for that one. You understand? He said it's for tomorrow, not now. Our our children, our born children are going to be the one to enjoy it. So you see, anything that is going to be good, your today matters a lot. Your today tells about your tomorrow. The senator representing Bauchi Central in the Senate, Adu Ningi, has said that things were getting worse under the leadership of President Bola Tinubu. According to the lawmaker, President Tinubu seemed not to understand the current, the country, and the issues affecting its uh, components, especially the North. Ningi, who is the chairman of the Northern Senators Forum, NSF, stated this in an interview with BBC Hausa Service on Saturday. According to the People's Democratic Party, PDP Senator, the federal government of Nigeria hasn't performed to expectations, adding that things were getting worse compared to when President Tinubu took over the leadership of the country in May 2023. People are going through a lot of difficulties. We live in villages. We are going there to interact with them, and they are lamenting seriously. They have, they have now nowhere to go. So they have no one to express their grievances to than us. I think Bola Metinubu does not even understand this country and he does not understand the difficulties of ruling a country like Nigeria. Probably he has his thinking of what governance is, but I don't blame him so much because when he was campaigning for the, for the seat, there was no agreement or promise between him and the people. People were just blinded and voted for him because he supported former President Muhammad Buhari when he was contesting. Some even voted for him because he's a Muslim. As such, he needed their vote on whether he can or cannot do the right thing for the country. But the most painful thing is that Nottena stood for him and did all they could to bring him to power. But unfortunately, there was no agreement between them and the president on what should be done to the North and the Northerners, especially taking into consideration the important and significant projects that the North has been yearning and aspiring to get for a long time. For example, the Ajokuta project, 
the Mabila Power Project, the dredging of River Niger, and other notable projects Ninge said. He also said that most he also said mostly disturbed uh, their sleep were the national budget of 2013 and 2014, uh, in which they uh, maxed billions of naira for critical projects, but they were neglected by then Gulog Jonathan, saying when President Buhari took over in 2015, they thought it was one of the projects he would pay attention to, but unfortunately it was it wasn't possible for over eight years. Even road construction construction like Kano to Abuja is not yet completed as if it was caused by someone, despite the road being the soul of our travelers in the north, Ningi added. Speaking further, he said they don't attack the government as the opposition party it is supposed to do because religious and ethnic ba uh, bases have uh, been brought into politics, uh, citing example that lawmakers from the northwest and northeast were stopped from opposition leaders in the Senate. If you look at, uh, if you look at it from this scenario, the majority of those in opposition are from the northeast and the northwest, but we were not allowed to be the leaders of the opposition in the Senate. This is one of the reasons why we said we would go back and look at what is happening under the umbrella of the Northern Senators Forum, which is under my leadership, he noted. On the transfer of some government agencies to Lagos, Ninge said, as I speak, our people, especially the leaders, are yet to take any action to find the solution. That is why I am not even surprised. These things that are happening are of two categories. Some affect the North only and some affect the entire country. What are we doing now as leaders of the Forum of Northerners? We are trying to address the problem or reduce its strength without allowing politics to come in. On the 2024 budget, Ningi said, for the past three months, they have engaged consultants to review the budget for them as members of the Northern Senators Forum. We have some experts that are working on it line by line. We have seen the huge damage that was done, not only to the North, but the entire country in, the, in that budget. We are supposed to sit with the Senate President to inform him about what we have observed. We want to show him what we have seen in the budget that is not acceptable. We will not accept them and we don't want the country to continue spending money on those things. Apart from what the National Assembly did on the floor, there was another budget that was done underground, which we did not know. The new thing we have discovered in the budget were not known to us. We haven't seen them in the budget that was debated and considered on the floor of the National Assembly, Ninge said, adding that there were a budget of 28 trillion naira, but that was officially passed by the National Assembly was 25 trillion naira. So there is 3 trillion on top. Where are they? Where are they? Where is it going? So we need to know this. There are a lot of things we are coming up with. A report and we will show the president himself and ask him if he's aware or not. This is what we intended to do. We are to meet the president. We will talk to him about the Mabila pro uh, power project at Jokuta and the River Niger dredging. We will we, we, we talk to him about the, the Niger Republic recently. They said they will construct a dam. This is not good for us. Niger said, adding that, Ninki said, adding that the action taken by ECOWAS has affected the relationship between Nigeria and Niger. So guys, you've all heard it now. What's your take on this? I beg, can you kindly drop your view below the comment section? Thank you.